Don't let the things that have hurt you turn you into someone that you're not. Stay soft. Ugh, who wants to be soft? Soft, squishy, gooey. <laughs> Think about it, we go to the gym to get rock hard bodies, to be strong, not squishy. Don't let the things that have hurt you turn you into someone you're not. But how can you be someone you're not? Isn't that just who you are? You can't not. You can't not be someone you're not. And if you can't not, don't those two negatives cancel each other out to make it a positive? So it really means that you are? Does that mean that you are someone you're not? <sighs> See how quickly this gets to be so confusing. It's what leads people to saying, I am who I am, because you are. The things that have hurt me, formed me, shaped me, made me who I am. And I say they're celebrating around that. You wouldn't be who you are had you not made it through the things that hurt you. I think what this is really saying is be soft. Don't hold on to bitterness. Bitterness hardens your heart. It's not talking about your abs or your body. It's talking about your heart. Is that hard or is that soft? Depends on what it's full of. Is it full of anger, bitterness, resentment, regret? Or has it softened by opening up and letting love in? Holding on to the truth of who you are. Because you can't actually be turned into a person you're not. You can act like one, behave like one. But there's a big difference between actions, habits, behaviors, patterns. Those are all a reflection of your beliefs. 